All right, y'all, let's get started. Okay, let's see what messages we have for today. I thought I wiped off my table. I guess I missed this spot. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages, guidance for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages for the collective. Messages. What guidance do we have for the Okay. Six of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like someone's moving away from the past, letting go of past memories, and planting some new seeds. Okay. All right. So I guess I'm supposed to read. So we got the Five of Cups under here. This could be dealing with some sort of regret. Knight of Swords here. There's a movement forward here. Messages could be. Queen of Pentacles here. Someone could be moving forward, sending some sort of messages. Three of Swords here. Three of Swords represents sorrow, healing, Eight of Cups. Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. Someone's walking away. Um, abandoning success. Someone could be abandoning success of a heartbreak. Walking away from the heartbreak, letting go of the past, planting new seeds. Three of Pentacles here. Cooperating, putting things together. Empress here. So there's some sort of cooperation. Three, three here. There's three, three, three. Someone is cooperating by walking away from a past heartache, past sorrow, abandoning success of sorrow in order to create something new within their life. We got uh, Taurus, Libra energy here. Ace of Swords here. Yes. Yes. Um, four of Wands here. I feel like there's something to celebrate here. Ace of Swords here with the with the Four of Wands. There's a new opportunity here to celebrate. Page of Pentacles here. There's some effort being taken here. King of Pentacles. Ooh. We have a match. King and Queen of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles here. This is some sort of partnership. So this could be someone going into business together. Or going into a contract together. Um, it doesn't have to be business, but it could be some sort of contract. Someone's going into a contract here. All right, so let's see here. I definitely feel like I don't. This could be a walking away, but I feel like it's a a walking away or abandoning success of a heartbreak because three plus one is four swords. So someone's retreating from strife. Someone's. This is like a restoration or or a. I don't want to say rejuvenation. I don't feel like it's rejuvenation, but I feel like um, maybe a recovery. Knight of Swords here. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Ten Swords here. So someone's moving forward here, embracing the end of a difficult situation. Someone has made up their mind to, to abandon some sort of heartbreak. Two Cups here. So someone is walking away from a difficult relationship or a difficult partnership. Three of, I mean, Queen of Pentacles here. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? We have judgment here. So someone is waking up or someone's making a decision here. So there could be some sort of decision that is being made here. Death here that is going to change everything. This decision changes everything. This is a, someone's making a decision that's going to change something. Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords here? Four of Pentacles here. Yeah. So someone was stuck here. Maybe stuck in the past with the Six of Cups uh, in reverse. Someone could have been stuck in the past. Three of Swords with this Four of Pentacles. I feel like that is what has been holding someone back. Some sort of heartbreak here. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Two Fours here. So someone was stuck. Three Fours. Four, 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 three, three, three. Three, three, three is first. So you're coming into alignment with some sort of stability. Um, eight cups here. Why is this eight of cups here? I feel like someone's on a new path. High priestess here. Someone knows that they have to abandon success of what they've been holding on to or what has been holding them back. Okay. Why is this three of pentacles here? And we got the page of so what I tell you? I didn't even see that under there. So someone knows what was keeping them uh, at a delay. Why is this three of pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles here, cooperating with a new opportunity here. That's four Pentacles. Um, so I feel like here, there's a new opportunity here, and someone's willing to put the work in. Four of Cups here. We got a lot of fours here. So this is like 
angelic assistance. Uh, you're being protected during this transformation. There's some sort of protection around something. I feel like for a lot of you guys with the Ace of Pentacles here on this Three of Pentacles, you have a new opportunity to bring something together because the Three of Pentacles is like I said, those are those gears turning. The gears are turning within a situation. Someone's abandoning success or something that held them back, which could be what popped out here. Six of Cups in reverse. So I feel like in order to get to this seven of pentacles to where they could plant some new seeds they had to let go of a past situation or just let go of the past why is this empress here why is this empress here we have two of wands here so i feel like someone was at a crossroads about starting something new um someone was at a crossroads about starting something new ten pentacles here about some sort of commitment and it could be that someone was previously committed to something or even just committed to the memories of something. Ace of Swords here. We got the Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles here. So someone may be seeing clearly or someone may be speaking some sort of truth. Page of Swords here, Nine of Swords here with the Seven of Pentacles here. Someone's anxiety has had them at a stalemate, at a standstill. But And someone could also be delayed by having anxiety about planting new seeds. And that may be the truth, the clarity here. Um, Hierophant here. We got Taurus energy here. Um, with the Empress, the Hierophant, and also that Queen of Pentacles. We also have uh, all Earth signs. That's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have um, Cancer, and we have Scorpio here. Yeah. All right, so four of ones here. Why is this four of ones here? Someone could be also, um, there could be a new start within some sort of relationship. We also got Aquarian energy here with Star Plans. Hopeful. Someone's hopeful. Someone's making plans. Someone is very hopeful. But there may be some sort of conflict here. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups under here. There may be some sort of conflict here. There may have been some sort of, because we even got the Eight of Wands up there. There may have been some sort of conflict that was preventing someone from moving forward with their plans or with their hopes, with their desires. Page of Swords here with their dreams. Why is this Page of Swords here? We got, I mean, Page of Pentacles here. We got Ten Pentacles here, Three of Swords. So someone has to make an effort to sever some sort of commitment here or someone's making an effort to sever some sort of commitment here maybe even heal but i feel like sever what they've been committed to and they may have been committed to the sorrow seven of cups here and it was creating some sort of illusions around their life king of pentacles here why is the king of pentacles here why is the king of pentacles here i've got queen of wands here four of swords here so someone is resting Someone is resting, motivated to rest from drama, motivated to retreat from drama. So this is why someone is abandoning the success of a, of a heartbreak, because they were at a crossroads about starting something new, at a crossroads about some sort of new investment. But in order to plant new seeds, you have to let go of the past. I always say that. Things have to end in order for things to begin. You can't have a new beginning without an ending. It's impossible. So I feel like with the temperance here, it's like someone is... King of Pentacles here, someone is committed or someone is invested in resting from some sort of strife. They're very focused on recovery. This is like someone's healing something, whether it be themselves or some sort of partnership. Someone's healing something. Even under here, we have the Daughters of Reconciler. So, so some of you guys could be receiving some sort of apology, especially with that Page of Pentacles and that Knight of Swords. It could be an apology coming in. It could be um, a message. Um like explaining something ace of swords here it's the truth ace of swords is truth um ace plus nine swords is ten swords so the truth about ending something difficult someone may tell you that they had to end something difficult in order to be in alignment or, or in order to plan what it is that they actually want to plan some sort of goal or something like that there's an opportunity here three of pentacles here for some sort of cooperation um this could for especially with the three of pentacles queen of pentacles king of pentacles this could be a business contract so some of you guys could be going into some sort of business contract maybe receiving an offer here that's going to um that's going to put an end to ruin, put an end to worry. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been stuck in some sort of sorrow or some sort of betrayal that has been holding you back. High Priestess here with the Eight of Cups, you know that you have to abandon success of that heart, heartbreak, that sorrow in order for you to move forward. Someone's making a decision. Someone's making a decision. Queen of Pentacles, judgment. Queen of Pentacles is making a decision to sever from some sort of, of, of 
I don't know if you had your guard up or something. There's a change that's happening here. Someone's abandoning success of a heartbreak. Are no longer abandoning something. Because there is an opportunity to make something work. To reconcile something. So say for instance you could be like about to quit a job. Because I see a lot of pinnacles here represents foundations. Something stable. Something solid. Now it could be a relationship. It could be a contract. It could be king of queen of pinnacles is a marriage. That's a, that's a husband and a wife. Those are the husband and wife cards. But there is this energy of having to sever heartbreak or having to cut away walking away so maybe someone was on the brink of walking away from a marriage and maybe they're deciding to work things out um, or something like that letting go of the past in order to plant new seeds so this is like a fresh start maybe there's a starting over that's happening here so let's get some uh, guidance here. If you guys are interested in seeing the extended to this, go ahead, go ahead and join my members only section and it'll be available there. All right. So let's see here. What message is this? We got oneness. It says, close your eyes and be still. Expand your energy and become one with the universe. Everything within. Yeah. So someone is severing from something that kept them restricted. I definitely see that. So, but I think the only thing that kept, someone restricted or at a delay like I'm saying is their own anxiety is this three of swords maybe someone had anxiety about having their heart broke or had anxiety about being rejected so this could even be someone that didn't apply for a job or 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 a scholarship or um, a position because they were afraid of getting rejected it was holding them back so they could be taking that step now putting forth the effort and actually putting in for that position Okay, so close your eyes and be still. Expand your energy and become one with the universe. Everything within the mighty universe lies within your mighty presence. There is no beginning and there is no end. There is only now. Live within this moment. So someone could be deciding to kind of go within and live within the moment. What messages, what guidance do we have? Believe in the impossible because nothing is yet set in stone. So I definitely feel like someone here is... I feel like someone is making the effort, finally putting in, or, or I don't know, there's an opportunity for something to work. There's an opportunity for something to come together. And I feel like someone is investing in that or like taking a chance at that, but it's not so much a, a like, it's not like they're going out on a limb. I don't feel like this is like a big risk, but I feel like it feels like a big risk because there's been a lot of anxiety behind investing this. Nine of Swords here with the Seven of Pentacles here. You see under the bottom, it says Lord of Success Unfulfilled. Someone had anxiety that, you know, speaking their truth or, or putting in that application or telling someone the truth about something they felt as though they would be rejected they felt as though they were be, they would be they would be unable to fulfill like the seeds that are unable for those seeds to grow like the there would be no success that's what i'm trying to say someone felt like there would be no success but i feel like you have to believe in the impossible here cuz there's definitely plan star energy here i feel like someone is going to it's like you're going to get what you want. It does require some sort of effort, though. You have to make the effort. And the effort may be to sever whatever you've been committed to previously, even if the commitment has been to your own sorrow. Like you have to abandon success of your sorrow. Sever this emotional draw. Like maybe, maybe some of you guys have to not be so detached. Okay, so this is all I have. Like I said, if you'd like to watch the extended to this, you can go ahead and hop on over to the wise one section.